Hi Robotarians, welcome back to Robo How To. Today we're going to take a look at the servo motor. Any electronics that involves motion, whether it's your car steering wheel, electronic doors, anything that uses circular motion uses the same technology as a servo motor. They're very common and very important to understand if you'd like to study robotics. Let's take a look. Okay, let's get this built. Today I'm going to be using my servo motor. Notice I've already attached a piece of sheet metal just so I can see more easily how the motor rotates. I'll need a battery pack to power my servo motor. I'm using my RoboCore controller board and of course my Castle Rock online learning platform. Very simply, I'll take my servo and attach it into port servo a on RoboCore. Nice and easy, just like that. I've already attached my battery pack and Castle Rock is already connected to RoboCore via USB. Let's take a look at the coding. First, I use the class name Roboterra RoboCore to name my robot and I've named him Tom after myself. Second, I'll use the class name Roboterra Servo for my servo motor and I've named him Spin. Step two, I've got to tell RoboCore where spin, my servo motor, is attached. And he's attached to servo A. Step three, inside handle RoboTerra event, I'll use a conditional statement containing our own API is type to tell my robot what I'd like it to do. So if the event is a type RoboCore launch, when my RoboCore starts up, I'd like spin, my servo, to rotate 180 degrees at the speed of five. The numbers inside the parentheses are called arguments. The first determines the degree of rotation. The second determines the speed. Let's run my program. And then we'll wait for our servo motor. There he goes, 180 degrees just like that. You can program your servo motor to rotate at different speeds and different degrees of rotation as well. Thanks for joining us, Robotarians. Don't forget to join us on social media. Roboterra, we make, you create.